differentiation, exam style questions. You will find this on page 304 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. A curve is such that dy by dx is equal to this. So this is the derivative function. It's already differentiated. Where a is a positive constant, the point a lies on the curve. Find in terms of a the equation of the tangent to the curve at a, simplifying your answer. Okay, this is already the differentiating. Due to that, you could see that. Okay, so when x is equal, so I substitute just that a squared now into, then I'm getting this answer. Therefore, the gradient will be 3 over a squared. Now, the equation of the tangent, uh, there I'm having my point at, I'm having already the point there. I'm just filling it in. There's my gradient. There's my point, which I fill in. Can I just show you here? So this is x1. This is y1. So in the place of y, okay, so it's y minus y1, 3. And there's the gradient, x minus x1. And then I'm just going to multiply this and then this will cancel and just take note this actually ending up with negative 3 but if that positive 3 comes over from this side it cancel and this will be my final answer okay i want you to stop the video and i want you to do try now 37 you can continue the video as soon as you are finished okay let's start the line, and let me write down that line, 3y plus x equals 25 is a normal to the curve, here's the curve, y is equal, and it's not differentiated. Find the value of the constant k. Okay, now first we're going to take this and find the gradient of this normal. So, am I quite the subject of the formula? I prefer to do it like first the mean and then just the normal format. Okay, divide 3, divide 3, divide 3. So, therefore, y is equal to negative x over 3 plus 25 over 3. So, the gradient, the, the gradient of the normal is negative 1 over 3. Okay. So, the gradient of the tangent, because that's perpendicular, the gradient of the tangent will then be 3. Okay. Now, if I'm taking this and I'm going to differentiate it, so let's just differentiate it, dy by dx is equal to 2x minus 5. Okay, now I know that the gradient of the tangent is 3, so therefore I'm just going to say, let's rather put it here, I'm going to just say 2x minus 5, there's the gradient, and that is equal to 3. So I will get 2x is equal to 3 plus 5. So 2x equals 8. Divide 2, divide 2. So x is equal to 4. Okay. So now I'm just going to find, if x is 4, I just want to find the coordinate point. So I'm going to substitute that into the original equation. So if, let's make it white, if x is 4, I'm, I'm looking for the y, so I'm going to say y is equal to negative 4 over 3 plus 25 over 3. 
and that is going to give me, let's just press, negative 4 ABC3 plus 25 ABC3 is equal to 7. So what will be that coordinate point? So, I substitute into the equation of the curve. So if I'm going to, okay, so if this is 7, I, I get my value of y is 7, I'm going to say, if I'm substituting this 7, I have now into this equation. So let me just write it down to you. Um, I'm just going to move up first. And then I'm going to say substitute uh, y equals 7 into the equation of the curve. Because that there's where the value of k is. So if I'm substituting it in there, I will get 7 equals... And now, don't forget, I have x also, x is 4, so 4 squared. So actually, I'm taking this point 4 and 7, and I just substitute it in. So uh, 4 squared minus 5, 4 plus k. Okay. So 7 equals 16 minus 20 plus k. Okay. So 7 minus 16 plus 20 is equal to the value of k. So, and that will give me an answer of 11. So therefore, k is equal to 11. Okay, and that's how you do it.